Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, someone's mowing a lawn, just as I start the video. <laughs> um, I'm in Great Bookham, just off the A246. And hopefully we'll be looking at three churches today. I'm here at St Nicholas in Great Bookham. There's been uh, worship on this site since about the seventh century, they say. So I uh, don't know much about it. Looks absolutely lovely. I think it's mainly uh, 14th century with um, Victorian editions, aren't they all? So uh, let's have a little look. Oh, this is rather lovely. Great Bookham, it's a really sweet little village actually. Traffic's a nightmare because it's only very, very small roads. You know. Incredible, look at this uh, brass tomb here. Here lies the body of Robert Shires or Shears of the Inner Temple, London, who died the 29th of. Oh, I can't actually word that out, that's in Latin. Um, mm, don't know, July uh, 1668. 1668. Wow. It's a shame that a lot of the tombs on the floor, the writing's so eroded you can't make out what it says. I know it'd probably be in the parish records. Um, but for us commoners, it's hard to decipher. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Are these original columns from the 1300s? Could very well be, could very well be. Old door, I think that's probably Victorian, if not later. Seems, yeah, it's probably maybe early 20th century. I don't know how old the font is, but that looks, I will stick my neck out and say Norman. Yeah. Probably Norman. Ah, just seen some uh, wall paintings, very faded wall paintings that must be whitewashed uh, after the Reformation. Can't really make out what the patterns are, but yeah. Got a couple of uh, tombs here. Francis Howard. I oh, know Francis, of El uh, eldest child of Francis Howard, Esquire, age of two years, 1676, oh, sad. and 1633, this one, the daughter of Francis Howard and his wife, who departed his life on the 25th of June, 1633. This is interesting. Benefactions to this parish, a Mr. John Brown, of this parish gave by his will in 1625. One pound 10 annually to be paid out of lands in Eastwick Park uh, to this parish for the benefit of the, of the poor. Wow. So we're in Great Bookham. We're now going to go down to Little Bookham to look at All Saints Church just down the road. Let's go.
of All Saints was built around 1100. It's quite a charming little church hidden away along this track um, down the road from the A246. It's great, you've got Great Bookham and Little Bookham, you know. And then we're going to go over to Effingham and see St Lawrence's Church there as well. So all these churches in close proximity to each other, you know. Oh, and we have got lunch booked at the Plough in Effingham. I was going to go to another pub, not that far away, which I'm going to do again because it's a famous film location for a very, very, very famous movie, one of my favourites. But we'll do that another time and I won't spoil it and tell it what it is. Again, I implore you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Now this church has a finest display of hatchments uh, in Surrey. Now hatchments were a uh, like coat of arms, artwork that were displayed on deceased people's front doors and then removed when they were buried. And we've got five, uh, one, two, three, four, five here. Four, I think, belong to the Poland family. And they really are quite magnificent. I've not known much about hatchments. I had to sort of read up on them, um, but they really are. Fantastic works of art. Here's some information here, actually. Um, from the 17th century onwards, it was customary upon the death of a part of a person entitled to bear a coat of arms for this to be painted on a large lozenge shaped board or piece of framed canvas and suspended over the main entrance to his or her house. This hatchment remained in position throughout the period of mourning, normally six months, and was then transferred to the church where the deceased person was buried. This custom is still observed occasionally at the present day, e.g. Some, some Oxford colleges. That's really interesting. Yeah, here we go. Pollen, Maddox, Pollen, Manningham. Uh, it's, it's a hall, so a different family. There's yeah, so Mary Pollen there, so it must be a prominent family in the area who worshipped here. It's Mary Pollen, and there's George Pollen. P-O-L-L-E-N. Pollen, Pollen and many years at Rector of Little Bookham. Yeah. That's interesting. This organ chamber is erected to the glory of God and in memory of Queen Victoria in 1901. So yeah, very nice. As someone said in uh, one of the previous videos on the comments section that every time I say very nice, you should be a drinking game. So if you do hear me say very nice, and I'll try not to do it intentionally, take a swig, okay? Those are the rules. Right, let's pop out into the churchyard and have a look at the yew, the yew tree. I've seen a lot of yew trees lately. Oh, and the font is early Norman, just like the one over at Great Bookham. That's early Norman, with a obviously a modern uh, top on top, a lid on top. That's early Norman, apparently. So we have a magnificent yew tree that's actually fenced off. The others aren't. Um, apparently this is 1300 years old. 1300 years old, so well before the church. It's such a shame they've fenced it off though. Um, oh well, it is hollow. We could have gone in and had a look. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely love yew trees. Absolutely love them. Very significant trees in sort of uh, pagan times, into Saxon times. Many people would have congregated here for meetings, maybe a site of worship, you know, well before the Christian churches came in. We're going to move on from All Saints and now we're going to head down to Effingham to uh, St Lawrence's Church and maybe a little walk around the village. Let's go.
so we're in Effingham, a place I've driven through many times. I've never actually stopped here, but uh, we'll have a little walk around and then go and have a look at the church before lunch. Now Effingham is Saxon in origin and the name comes from the Saxon name for Effingham which wasn't that much different I think to its present spelling. Two people streaming and helicopters going over very tranquil, very tranquil. But here we are at St. Lawrence Church in Effingham, probably built between 1086 and 1100. Although no records exist of anything on the site beforehand. There could well be, of course, but those uh, evidence would have been lost in time. But uh, yeah, shall we go and have a look inside? Okay, they see parts of this building date back to 1286, so not 1086 who's telling the truth, but it's early medieval anyway. Say, so in, earlier in the other church, you can't read what's on these uh, slabs because uh, it's all eroded away. That looks old. Another great thing about churches being open, thank you, is it uh, cools you off from the heat of the sun. I mean, by Friday this week, obviously you'll be seeing it's well after this Friday, um, which I think will be about the 16th, 17th of June. It's going to be like 34 degrees uh, Celsius. So hot, hot, hot. But I love hot weather, so I'm not complaining. The damn barking dog outside. <laughs> I love animals, I'm not having to go. This is interesting, a long time coming back. This year, this Bible here uh, is returning to St. Lawrence's Church that originally left it over 290 years ago. 290 years ago, and here it is, back where it belongs. While we're here, I want to take you to a very important grave of a very famous person. Check this out. This is the grave of Sir Barnes Wallace and his wife, uh, Mary, uh, who lived here for 49 years and worshipped here. Now, many of you will know Sir Barnes Wallace, inventor, and he was the inventor of the bouncing bomb used during World War II, immortalised in the film The Damn Busters. Yeah, this is it. The glory of God and in memory of Barnes Neville Wallace, engineer and inventor. September the 1887 to uh, October 1979. Churchyard does go round to the back. Big churchyard, as you can see. Oh, another strimmer. Don't get me wrong, there is something very summery about having strimmers and mowing the lawn and all that, but when you're trying to film, it's a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, is what it is. Oh, look, secret trails. I wonder where that leads to. Narnia, probably. Okay, oh, back out into the sun.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed the trips around these three churches in Great Brookham, Little Brookham and Effingham. And uh, we're now going to go head over to the plough. I'm a bit early, see if they can fit me in earlier for a spot of lunch. Let's go. Oh, so there you go, three churches and a lovely pub lunch. It's been a lovely day, it's really hot, so I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I hope you like the video, please like, subscribe, all the usual stuff you do on YouTube, it's much appreciated. Maybe we'll gain a few more subscribers, a few more hits, who knows. But we'll see you next time, take care.